Hey everybody, uh, today we're working on some newly leased property. Um, we are connecting uh, some fence, uh, existing fence line, basically through a gap where there's a riparian area back here and they are trying to uh, fix up the, uh, well I guess create a space for, for water to drain back into the aquifers and, and enrich the I don't know the water tables here. So river is rip on ready to go with the chisel, but we're not to that point yet because I haven't made the cuts. But basically we're installing a gate here right behind where the truck is. We got a 10 foot wide gate sitting over here. On this side, we're gonna tie in a metal post to the wood post with an H brace. <clears throat> over here, we set both these posts. So they're both wood posts and we'll set a wood eight foot, wide, eight foot long H post there. Uh, down at the far end, we will just tie directly to an existing metal H-post, basically. That's not really the direction that it should be pulling from, but it will work. We're not going to put super high tension on this part of the fence because it's just crossing this gap area anyway. So stay tuned and we'll walk you through the process. Uh, well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is we've marked the diameter of the end of the wood post here. We're gonna make two cuts here with the circular saw, then River's gonna get in here with the chisel, and we're gonna chisel off a flat surface here for the end of that post to sit on. Once we do that, we'll put the post up. We will <clears throat> level it across to the other side. Notice I have no marks here because we want the post to, to tell us when it's level. Um, and then we'll, we'll set our marks. We'll make our, um, you know, based on the diameter of this side of the post, We'll set our, we'll make our circular saw cuts, we'll chisel it out, and then we'll cut the post to length, and then we'll put it in place uh, and secure it good. And we'll put some brace wire in both directions because this is where we're gonna hang the gate. So stay tuned and we'll show you how this process works. Okay, so this is not rocket surgery, but I want it to be as level as possible, so I made my mark using a level. Um, so now we'll take the circular saw, just infield Ryobi version and we will make a cut okay we mark the second one and cut it okay so that's that now we can come in and chisel this out and make it good and flat uh, facing the other post. <coughs> All right, River. Okay, here we go. for the job but it's the tool we got so from here and this is real important you need to pay attention to which side your fence is gonna be on why don't you back up a little bit maybe over there to demonstrate okay so my wire is gonna run on this side of the fence so what that means is when you got your brace you don't want your brace to wind up tensioning on this side so you got to make sure you stick it through and you twist the right direction. So here we go. Let's see if we can do this the right way. We managed to get the other side right. See, it's on this side as well. So we'll stick this through and we will tell you what. There we go. So when we, when we finish up, it's going to wind up like that. And that's what you want. Sometimes it's good to test where you wind up before you actually start applying your tension. So both, both pieces of rebar are on the inside of the fence. Okay, so here we go. Let's tension it up. Still a little toasty.
Okay. There we go. And that is tight. Okay. Final step, I like to take one of your pieces of scrap wire and we're going to staple it. This is the hard part. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to get it wrong. I'm sure you see it there. that through get good and tight get that right up against it and bent around and then we will pinch it on the other side That is not going anywhere. Hammer that flat out, so that will not move. So when we're done with all the fencing, we'll come back and we'll spray paint these bars so they don't rust out on us. It'll be the only thing left to do, basically. Okay, so we're gonna go in and knock in all these staples where we had left them loose. That will make sure that everything stays tight and exactly the way it is. And then we got a solid H post. We did it. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Uh, appreciate uh, appreciate you if you made it this far. And uh, stay tuned because we've got some interesting H posts coming up, and I'm not even quite sure what we're going to do yet ourselves. Uh, like for example, let's look over here real quick. So for this side, we've got a wood post going to a metal post. Obviously, we can't do the same thing we did over there, so we're going to drill a hole. I'm going to use the galvanized pipe. I'm going to weld it up on this side um, and uh, somehow H brace that. So this will be interesting. I'm going to do a little bit of research for myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit subscribe for more content like this. Um, otherwise, just give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, just keep on moving. But I think you did or you wouldn't have made it this far. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Appreciate y'all. River is going to start chiseling for us. Now, that is not the right hammer, but we did not bring the right hammer. So it is what it is at this point. Let him work at this for a while and we'll bring you back. Okay, after a little bit of chiseling, we've got our flat spot here. We've got a shoulder for it to sit on and this is almost a perfect window. I'll show you in just a second when we pick up the post and set it in there. Uh, from there, we'll lever it, level it and make our measurements for our marks to cut on the other post there and do the same thing on that side. All right, here we go. Set that on this side. So see how it sits in there on the shelf? And we will walk to the other side while not letting it fall. I'll put the level on it. We'll get it good and level. I'm gonna come and see this. So we'll get it so she's good and level. Level enough. And we'll come in here without moving it and try our best to mark it. 
this is the hard part to do by yourself. Okay, we'll mark it right there. Okay, so I'll take a diameter measurement now on this side. Okay, so this side is four and three quarters. So we'll give it, we'll start at the one inch mark so we can make a good measurement here. Uh, so four and three quarters would be five and three quarters, actually. And so that should be the width of our, or the diameter of our post. Now it does get bigger, so when we cut it off, I might have to take a little bit more off, but we'll start with that. It's a hot one today. That breeze is nice. Chewing gum. It's okay. I don't know if you're chewing on a cricket or gum or what. All right, looking good. So we just gave it a once around with the circular saw. Now, the circular saw only is able of cutting basically the thickness of a two by four. And so we wind up leaving a core in the middle uh, that's uncut. So we come back with us once we get a circumferential cut, we come back with a sawzall and get the last little bit. <laughs> you can see there was kind of a uh, an area here in the middle that was uh, not cut. Let me see if we can get to it. Well, not really, but it is about right here. <clears throat> so, anyway, let's see if she fits. Keep filming. getting closer just in case she lets go okay Work 
working it in there. there it's also real tight on the bottom obviously and we just get the get it centered on the straight vertical of the post and then it's pretty tight against it there let's check this side see how we did this side's got a little bit of a gap in there so that's why it's so tight is because my circumferential cut on this um, knotty post may not have been directly straight but we're gonna suck it up in there with some screws now and uh, it's gonna hold our fence for us let's double check our level real quick Depends on where you check it, I guess. Let's see. Get a kind of a level average here. Got a little bow to it, I guess. Stand back. Yeah, it's kind of a low spot right here. So we'll just kind of ignore this spot. But level if you kind of span across it, right? So I'm happy enough with that. That'll be good. Okay. Now we'll get it screwed in. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is use some long screws, like four and a half inch, I think. And we're going to tag four into the corners. We're not going to put one directly at the top. And we do that because we don't want it to hold water and rot this wood out faster. So we'll just give this a, a shot in the side here. switch sides here so you kind of go into the wood first let it bite and then turn it suck it right on up we'll get another one kind of same thing but down below let it bite and turn Same thing on the bottom on the other side. That's solid. And we'll do the other side and we'll switch to the, we'll get the bracing wire going. Okay, so if you are following the Texas standard, there's a code that you can find. It's a PDF online. It's TX-382. Uh, this is the fencing standard, and this is, uh, if you're going to work with NRCS on building fences, this is the standard they want you to use, and this right here is probably the most complicated part of it. Um, it's wrapping your brace wire. So I'm going to go through this kind of step-by-step how I like to make this work. Okay, so there's, there's kind of the image. I hope that's in focus. If it's not, I'll do something a little bit better, maybe draw it out on a whiteboard or something. But anyway, here it is. There's the code. And um, sorry, it's, uh, you know, here's what it says you gotta do. So I'll show you how to do this in practice. Okay, we got our first brace wire on these posts. Um, this, po this H post needs them in both directions because the way we have it now, it's going to be supporting the gate that we're going to hang from this post. And then we'll, we'll make the brace wire going, uh, making an X in the opposite direction because that's going to be where the fence goes. Um, and we need to support the <clears throat> H post in the other direction for the fence. So 
so we'll do that next. <clears throat> but this is the end result of what it looks like. Um, had a little malfunction and we lost the video for the uh, for setting this one up. So it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll catch the next one. So let's get going. <clears throat> we'll start just like we did the other way uh, with two nails. We'll get one down towards the or staples. We'll get clear off an even spot so we'll get right down here at the bottom and again this one's going to be removed uh, it's just there to hold the wire while we're setting up we'll go to the other side and do the same at the top okay again we need to be about six inches above the H post um, so we'll we'll set that up there Hey, about. this was a pine tree. Okay. Looks like it was, which is fine. Got nothing against pine. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get this wire up. Once again, we will we'll do this the exact same way. We'll get the, the pinch in the top of this wire, and this is what's going to be goes around this post here. The staples and the post. Uh, nope, sorry. This is what's going to be around the other top post. We're going the other direction now. Like we did before, we'll put one more staple in. Hold this in place. Directly across from the other. We're going to leave it loose until we get it all pulled tight. Watch that end there, please, son. Okay, now we'll take the spool. We're gonna unwind it as we walk around the post. Now the code requires that we do two full complete laps to get the strength that we need. second one. Now, when we do the second one, we're going to loop it again at the bottom. We'll get it under this staple, and then we'll go under the wraps we just went around. And back around. Yeah. Okay? So we just did our wrap around the post. Get our hammer and we'll put our staple on the inside <clears throat> at the bottom. And it's going to be level with our staple on the far side. And again, we just make it loose. Clear a little bit around the post. Uh, from there, we pull it tight enough to make sure that we have enough wire to overlap. And then we cut it. I'm gonna hang this here. Get my wire cutters. And we will get cutting. So I'm gonna cut it right about here. Always 
watch your face when you do this part. Okay, I'm done with this spool for the day. Okay, so we've got some overlap. Now, we're going to get a couple crimps. You need crimps that are sized properly for your brace wire. I like to use two. They're nothing special. High tensile crimps. Put them on the wire here. Both of them. Oh, oh, good night. What are you looking at? Okay. Sometimes these guys get wedged a little bit. Gonna roll them around. And there they go. Let's try this again. Okay, got it. So once I get it on there, I like to put a little bend in the wire just to make sure it doesn't come back loose like it just did on us. So I got one side, but you gotta do both sides. And that does not work. It's kind of a insurance policy for you there. Okay, now we're gonna start walking around. And, uh, well, two things first. I'm gonna hit some more staples in. <clears throat> okay, I'll come around to you and we're going to knock this in so that when we're done, it's going to look nice and clean. Wires that get all splayed out don't look nice. So, same thing on this side here. Don't hit it in tight. Populated, that's all. Same thing at the bottom. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got plenty of wire. Kind of getting nervous, I cut it too short. Okay, come on. go. Same thing on this side. I am going to go ahead and pull some slack out of this again. We got plenty. on the ground sometimes you got funny angles to work with okay now next step is to get a lot of this tension out of the wire uh, we use a wire strainer to do it but first you want to hand feed as much as you can so we'll take this wire that's not not the wire with the crimps in it and we're gonna pick a direction so this one is my loose one and I want this one to be tight so we'll walk it this way first. So I'm gonna push it through. You can see how it makes it loose down here. And we're just gonna walk it around, see where it goes. Okay, so I think 
Yep, it's this one. Okay, so we'll walk that one up top. There we go. Got it. Up here. I got it. I'm going to push it through. You can come see how big of a loop I just made on the top end here. This is why we do it by hand first. Okay. So we pull it tight. We keep pushing it around. You watch your hands real good so you don't get pinched. And you walk it around the loop you made around the post. Okay. And then you can send it down. your crimps. You take it out of your crimps. Okay. And then we'll go the other direction. Okay. We got some loose wire here. We'll take it this way. This goes down to the loop on this other side. Loop on the other side. So here we go. So I'm feeding that in. I obviously pulled it around. I'm walking it around the post. And those extra staples and that extra loop hold it in place for you. It's like an extra set of hands. And then once again. You can pull that right out in your crimps. So there we go. So we got all this extra slack out by hand. I just barely had these crimps on when we started. So now we'll get some mechanical support here and we will use our stretcher. Ends. Just start walking it up. Man, there wasn't that much slack. Sometimes you gotta give the jaws a little tap. Really make sure they bite good. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, we're slipping again. sure that the wires are pulling tension evenly because sometimes you can pull one tight and the other just flops around so we're doing that now that seems to be the case Now these are both more evenly tight. good enough. 
Okay, we'll get this crimp now. For the nine gauge wire, you gotta use the three to four pocket here. I like to give it two crimps per crimp. the excess here and we'll take these loose got it okay now from here you can cut a piece of rebar Okay, here we go. for the job but it's the tool we got so from here and this is real important you need to pay attention to which side your fence is gonna be on why don't you back up a little bit maybe over there to demonstrate okay so my wire is gonna run on this side of the fence so what that means is when you got your brace you don't want your brace to wind up tensioning on this side so you got to make sure you stick it through and you twist the right direction. So, here we go. Let's see if we can do this the right way. We managed to get the other side right, see? It's on this side as well. So we'll stick this through. And we will... Tell you what. There we go. So when we, when we finish up, it's going to wind up like that. And that's what you want. Sometimes it's good to test where you wind up before you actually start applying your tension. So both, both pieces of rebar are on the inside of the fence. Okay, so here we go. Let's tension it up. It's still a little toasty. Is tight okay okay we're gonna go with that all right now as a final step I like to take one of your pieces of scrap wire and we're going to staple it. This is the hard part. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to get it wrong. I'm sure you see it there. that through get good and tight get that right up against it and bent around and then we will 
pinch it on the other side. That is not going anywhere. Hammer that flat out, so that will not move. So when we're done with all the fencing, we'll come back and we'll spray paint these bars so they don't rust out on us. It'll be the only thing left to do, basically. Okay, so we're gonna go in and knock in all these staples where we had left them loose. That will make sure that everything stays tight and exactly the way it is. And then we got a solid H post. We did it. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Uh, appreciate uh, appreciate you if you made it this far. And uh, stay tuned because we've got some interesting H posts coming up, and I'm not even quite sure what we're going to do yet ourselves. Uh, like for example, let's look over here real quick. So for this side, we've got a wood post going to a metal post. Obviously, we can't do the same thing we did over there, so we're going to drill a hole. I'm going to use the galvanized pipe. I'm going to weld it up on this side um, and uh, somehow H brace that. So this will be interesting. I'm going to do a little bit of research for myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit subscribe for more content like this. Um, otherwise, just give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, just keep on moving. But I think you did or you wouldn't have made it this far. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Appreciate y'all.